Hello, uh, my name is Hamid. Uh, today I got this uh, Whirlpool uh, control board for the dishwasher, Whirlpool dishwasher. And there is also some Kenmore dishwasher that they use the same uh, control board. I have this control board. Uh, the fuse keeps blowing again and again on this. And there is also another kind of fuse. This one is like a circle or um, you can see it how it looks. And there is another control uh, board on those dishwashers that uses the long fuse. So this fuse and that fuse is working exactly the same thing. Um, today I will show you how to fix this um, control board without spending any penny. Um, I got this multimeter that I can check continuity with this. And I also got this nose plier. Um, this fuse blows again and again. The only reason I've seen uh, some uh, technicians they replace the whole uh, control board with this with this fuse, and they think this control board is causing this fuse to blow. But the fact is, uh, when those dishwasher gets a little bit old, the wires are uh, getting old, and they don't have enough ability to control the heat from the electricity on those um, uh, wires. That's why this uh, fuse blows. It has nothing to do with this control board. Um, I've seen some people replace the control board when the fuse blows, or some people they re only replace the fuse. But I personally don't uh, replace the fuse or I don't replace the control board. I'm going to show you how to fix this fuse on this control board for free. Uh, you can watch it right now. Okay. Here's the <coughs> control board that I'm going to work on it. <coughs> I'll have to adjust my camera. Yeah, I hope you guys can see it. Um, so here's my multimeter. Uh, with my multimeter, I'm gonna put it on tune with the continuity. So I select this. Uh, you can see it. I got continuity, and this fuse is blown already. So I'm gonna check for continuity. Here I don't have any continuity. And that's why the dishwasher was off. There was no power at all in the dishwasher. So what you want to do is put your control, uh, the multimeter on the side. Um, take this uh, fuse out. You see how it looks? This is the fuse. Um, take it out from the clipper. It looks like that. And again, um, you don't have to spend any money for fixing this. I've also seen some dishwashers that they replace this uh, fuse on them every three months or five months because it keeps blowing again and again. So if it's happening like this and you have to replace your fuse and instead of replacing it every three months or every five months un unless you replace your dishwasher, uh, what you do is get a nose plier or something sharp that it works it's a little bit hard but I'm gonna do it uh, open up from the side I have uh, some another pliers but I don't have it right now I'm at home on the table so <clears throat> this nose plier may work hopefully that will help you just open this 
see you open this piece this uh, middle piece hopefully I didn't damage it because you want to make sure when you open this cover from the fuse you want to make sure you don't uh, damage that uh, what you call it <coughs> that small plate which is well I broke this a small piece it's not a good idea uh, hopefully I will be able to show you guys you see this uh, metal plate and you can hear it when I press it it makes a clicking noise uh, hopefully you guys can hear it <laughs> and if you see this pen this pen is just coming out see every time it overheats inside this uh, metal uh, this uh, plastic piece that you can see it it comes out and it blows the fuse you see how it looks from inside you see that it gets overheat and then it blows the fuse so you put this back it's just a small plastic piece and this a small pen you put it back there and uh, you see this it makes a clicking noise when you press it with your finger you can hear it more Okay. Uh, if I check the continuity right now, you will see there's no continuity. But if I press it, now check that. Uh, let me see. Okay, you make sure this is small pieces in that pen, that pen piece is inside it should be pressed in Okay, I got continuity. You see that? Take those off. Look at that, how it looks. So I got continuity. Um, I was gonna show you another way to fix this uh, fuse, uh, but right now I w I'm not able to do it. I don't know somehow. Maybe I damaged this plate. Otherwise, by pressing this plate and you put everything back together. You just put a small plastic, uh, you put this uh, plate like this and you put just um, a small tape on top of that and your fuses build up again. You don't have to spend $15 or $25 to buy this fuse or even $5. At least you don't have to spend any money to fix it. See, you got continuity. Um, so when you got continuity, you put your fuse back together here. Mm. Just put it here, press it on your control board, um, hopefully on next video I will have my proper tool uh, like a, a nice plier so I cannot damage this piece or just damage it right now, usually it doesn't damage you when I use another different plier, nose plier is not a good idea but still you can use, use it with the nose plier, so look at my fuse, I got continuity so when you install Mm, this control board back to the dishwasher the dishwasher will work perfectly and you may get this uh, this fuse may blow up another after three months or maybe five months or six months who knows because the only reason this um, fuse blows if there is power surge in your house or if you got an old dishwasher the walls are kind of uh, old and, uh, some stuffs are rusty and uh, the dishwasher is not functioning properly in that case this fuse will blow 
So uh, there's two ways that you can fix it. If you don't have any idea how to fix this fuse, you just take this fuse out and you can connect those two wires together uh, like you will bypass this fuse. Um, I'd recommend you to not do that, but the, and there is a way that you can do that. It's not safe, it's fire hazard. If you do that, if you connect the two wires together and you take it out from this, you connect them together, your dishwasher will have a power again. The only time you can uh, check that if you don't have a multimeter and you really want to check your fuse, in that case, if you see your, you, do, you don't have power on the, on the dishwasher, uh, take the two wires from this fuse and connect them together. If you got power to the dishwasher, then it means that your fuse is blown. If you don't have multimeter, you can do that. But if you have multimeter, of course, you can check the fuse for continuity and then you will find out if it's good or bad. If you got continuity, then your fuse is good. Maybe there is something going on with the control board or you may have uh, small problems on these on these relays. So then you have to figure out what's going on. Uh, but for today, uh, hopefully you guys like my video and in future I will uh, post some more videos. And thank you so much for watching my videos. Uh, I will be posting more videos in future and uh, thanks for all your comments and likes and sharing.